Hey guys, me Lucas 17 here, and today I want to put give you a little tutorial about redstone that really helps you with the walls or the walls similar mini games. As you can see, I built this wall. I have all the redstone stuff underneath. It looks really complicated, but really, it's really really simple. Too many people judge on how much redstone there is, but really, the amount of redstone doesn't matter on what you're doing. So, here's a little sample on how you're going to do it. So, you have this nice and thing, nice, but oh no, the last few blocks or the last lots of blocks don't push out the dispensers. Uh, let me get rid of this tower a little bit. Um, what happens, basically, what you're going to want to do is going to have flat area if you're building it on the ground. Good luck trying to build this underground, though. If you want to take the time to do that, that's fine by me. I, I mean, like, honestly, I would, too. But it's just something I wouldn't do right now because I honestly literally discovered this method about two hours ago. I, As far as I know, I invented it. And, uh, like, none of my friends really use it at all yet because I haven't showed it to them. But, you know, you have your little setup here. You don't have enough. So, basically what you're going to... Actually, I need to look at this. <laughs> um, so, you're you're going to have another separate lineup that will... Okay, yeah, I got, I got it. I got this. So, what you're going to want to do, if it's like this short or something, you're going to want to turn it off, break the lever, expand it out, put the lever back there again, turn it on. Do that. I know it, it's shorter now. Yeah, by a few blocks. But then, uh, expand this out. Have a little sticky piston right there. Sink it up. Then turn this off. We don't want that to happen yet. Build two blocks up. All the way over. And then for the last two blocks, leave it blank. You're going to want to put a redstone torch there, redstone, redstone, redstone torch, so that's off. Then put redstone right here so it'll sync up. And then, if you're using a lever, you're going to want to go like this, and then this. And now it's all split up. But when you're using a button, I'll also teach you how to, re how to reset it. You want to make sure it's off. Since it has to be a sticky piston, it has to be a sticky piston, uh, you want to break that, that, and then put it there, and then replace the torch, and then it'll all go off. And then, if you want it to, if you're using a button, just break this, add that, put that there, and just tap it. It's really simple, it's really easy to use, but you're gonna if if you're making like a huge thing like the walls, you're gonna have to make several of it like I did over here. It's really easy to sync them up too. But if you want if but if you're using the walls and you want these to like come back, because these will stay on unless you would take the time to go back and reset it. Um I'm not gonna do this in this video, show you how to do it because you know, I, I have limited time and I'm already at the uh, three minute mark. Well, I, I think I might have time. You're gonna wanna sync up another pad, have it above on, when you sync it up, like one block above. Then, oops, have four redstone repeaters, because you want these to turn on first, like all these pistons to turn on first, so, and then put them on four ticks. And then come up, have a little fork in the road, if you if you build several. Then have this, and this is has to be a sticky piston. So it'll come out, and then come back in, with and break the redstone torch. So the pistons will come back. And if you're smart enough, these will be uh, regular pistons instead of sticky pistons. Sorry, I just burped there, that was pleasant. Um, so then they'll come back, and the block these blocks will be floating over here. But they're going to be underground because the platform's way up there. And all the sand or gravel, I would recommend sand a lot, will come falling down. And then you juke it out. So basically how you do this. Uh, let's sync it up right here. Why not? 
uh, line it up with this thing, break these two blocks, put the sticky piston like that, line up this, uh, you might need a, then you're going to need the redstone repeaters. So they're on four ticks, press the button. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm in a loophole here. So yeah, you want to have a redstone repeater right there, by the way. Sorry about that, I forgot. Because then it'll be in a loophole, come back, and just power this, and it won't, and the piston won't disintegrate. So let's reset it, and I'll show you what's supposed to happen. Like right there on the bat. So that's how you reset it. There we go. So you see, it's all off. Uh, oops. Press the button, and they'll come back, and the sand will fall. That's still not enough for you. Uh, let's replace these with uh, regular pistons because they cannot be sticky pistons unless you have some sort of use for the sticky pistons. I can't think of an example right now, but I'm sure some of you out there can probably think of some way how to use the actual sticky pistons. As you can see, when you reset it, sometimes it will do that most, most of the time. And then have all this. Um, oops. You don't want to put it on the dispensers, I mean the pistons. You want to put it on top of the block that you use there. And let's do this. There we go. And, and then that will fall. And then there you go. And how to bury it is kind of obvious. Just build it up a little. And then just build the platform. How they get up there, that's for you to decide. Staircase, ladder, anything really. I don't care. It doesn't really matter either, unless you're unless you're going away where it goes through the redstone. I would be I'd be aware from that because I know lots of people who like to who like to mess with the redstone when they go by it. So like this is really useful for the walls because it is a one use thing, and uh, I'll do that again. And to reset this, it's pretty obvious, you just break this, and if you do something like this, where it'll go right here, you gotta break that, uh, really fast like this, um, and then replace the blocks like that, if you want an easy set way, at least like, leave these little holes open. And then restack the sand or gravel. Again, sand is a lot more recommended. And if you if you are honestly braindead enough not to know how to make it go above the platform so they can't go, I'd I'd honestly oh there's Matthew. Um, I would honestly make the platforms even on both sides so like have the walls straight in the center. And then just like go up through the crack that you just built <laughs> through the crack, like through the crack and right here, and have like the evened out thing over here. So you know you got like you got this platform and stuff. You press the button, not all the sand's gonna fall, but the sand falls. Yeah, it's nice and dandy. And then the two sides juke it out. If you want to f take the time to figure out how to how to uh, do it in a four-way thing, like the walls are meant to be, that's up to you. But 
the, as as you can see right here, this is a new mini game that's still not done. By the way, the region is the regions is done. We've already put it through beta testing to make sure it all works, and it, yeah, it, it works. But there's one more thing I'm gonna teach you how to do before I end off this video. Wait, what time am I on? Ten minutes. Uh... Okay, here I'll try. I'll try. Basically, you just speed. I'm gonna speed run right now. You once this is all done, you sync it up with another redstone line, and then you build another. With like, uh, sorry, just I, I just messed up there for a second. So you put like the sticky piston right there. Hold on, Matthew. I'm in the middle of the video, and then you build this. And then there you go. It's synced up. Oh wait. Now it's technically synced up. You don't believe me? Oh wait. You don't. Yeah. You don't. You. The, it only really works if you want to do it long way. But if you if you're doing this. Oh, crap. If you're doing this method where you sync it all up, uh, I I put a way bigger gap than just a one block thing, because that will mess you up a lot. And then you do this, nice and dandy. It's all gone. Oh, I actually synced up this wrong. You want to sync it up with this. Oops. Okay, yeah, I just kind of failed here now, but... As you can see, you can organize it, and then you see that happens, and then yeah. So I'm going to end the video right here, and uh, hope this helps you a lot. Bye!